Hey there everyone and welcome back to the React.js training. So the first thing that we have to do, actually I have already done that, so is to fix up our background image and there's nothing much to be worried about. It's basically a CSS being broken and if you're coming up from the web dev, uh, you might have already been into the situation quite a lot. So uh, what we have done, uh, you need to search for this header guy because uh, inside this header guy there was an inline style which actually broke our app. We deleted that and it made our app really nice, but uh, the image was gone. So I have added and injected a TTT. I know that's a bad name for the class, but right now I'm just gonna work with it. So TTT, you can choose a pretty good name. Now, the next thing that you need to do, uh, do is go into the index.html and basically it's the index.html inside the public folder. Notice we are not touching the start bootstrap index now. We don't want it actually. I, I would just close it down because uh, it's completely irrelevant. We have copied up everything. Now the next thing that you have to do is since we want to write some CSS rules more and uh, this one was linked as uh, min.css and we don't want to work with the min.css. Uh, we want to work with the clean blog.css. Okay, that's the step number two. Now open this inside the CSS, clean blog.css, there we go. I went into the full bottom of this uh, CSS file and uh, written as some code, that is .ttt, which is just defining the class. I hope many of you would be already aware this is just the basics of HTML. And in case you are still struggling with that, I would highly recommend you to go and check out the complete front-end developer in our uh, library there. That's a super killer awesome course that will just give you everything about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap, and tons of other things. Back on to, I know that was uh, kind of a promotion, but uh, just back in here. All you have to do is write background colon and then URL in the pair of parentheses. You have to simply write dot dot slash images that means we are going one directory back and then we are looking up for the image and inside the image we are looking for the background uh, simply home dash bg dot jpeg okay so that's it that will just fix up your app and now uh, basically uh, it would look just exactly the same but now the interesting part is we are rendering everything from app.js which is in itself a huge achievement that you have achieved so far. Now in case you are still uh, giving you some errors, that's completely okay. Just look out uh, for the self-closing HR tags. You might have missed some of them. Okay, now what we'll be doing, we'll be breaking this further into some of the components so that we can uh, be quite free uh, with the component creation process, okay? So what I'll be doing is, I'll just close the CSS and I'll close a couple of files because they are distracting. And we don't need index.js as well and index.html, we don't need you. And we don't need untitled as well. So we'll be opening just the app.jss, app.js, excuse me for that. And what we'll be doing is just right click on the source and create a new folder. And what we want to do is move this navigation into its own separate component and we'll be calling that component, okay? So right click on that and I'll create a new file and that file will be inside the source and I'll be calling it as a navbar.js. Okay, that sounds good so far and make sure N is capital in that. Okay, and the first thing that you have to write is import react comma component. And notice if you have followed the exercise that I've given you, it's so much breeze for you now and this will come up from React. We don't need DOM in here because DOM is already there in our main file where we need it. And then I'll use our com to component and I'll call this as nav bar, okay? And that's good. We need to export that as well. So we'll be exporting that as well. So we'll be calling it as export default and we'll be exporting simply the nav bar. Nav bar there, looks good. And uh, now we'll be just copying and pasting some codes from app.js. So from this guy in here, press, uh, just click on there at the top and just press down your shift key and click in here. And we'll be pressing command X to cut that. And we'll be moving everything inside this div. And in fact, we don't need div. We can just return one element, which would be nav. It can be any element. It can be nav, div, anything. That is good. 
And as soon as I save this and save our app.js, this should be complaining that yes, your navbar is gone. Now we need to call this a navbar component in here, which is pretty easy. And we can simply say that, hey, it's a nav bar and self-closing tag. Save that and complain because we haven't called that, hey, navbar is not defined. So all we need to do is import that as well. So we can do so quickly. And we'll say import navbar from, and notice you have to call this as dot slash navbar. Now you don't need to write navbar.js, that is already being handled, save that. And notice uh, everything is back, but what we are doing now is we are actually uh, calling this navbar from a component itself, which is a big deal because now uh, this is a dumb guy and you can pass on some properties uh, from this parent and that will be accessible in here and you can do a lot of things, but we are not gonna do, we just want to clear up our things on the components here. And notice, obviously, the next step would be to just uh, go ahead and uh, move this header part into in its component. And again, I'll be doing this exactly with you. And I'll leave rest of the simple app to just do uh, on your own. So like, for example, footer, and uh, this guy should be a component container. And in the container, you can actually make uh, more components to be called. So it would be a chain of component, no big deal. You can do so, I believe in you header so right click on the source create new file and we'll be calling it as simply header.js and again it would be simple import react comma component and that will be coming up from react so easy and our com for component and notice how the snippets is saving you a lot of time otherwise you would be all the time would be uh, just typing the code and I want it to be a capital H, what are you doing? Okay, and in here we need to export. And by the way, just to tell you quick syntax, you can do export default there as well, but I like the bottom default, but I'll leave this exactly the same to show you just the syntax in here. And I'll go into the app.js, we'll cut that out. Command X, by the way, for the cutting. And I'll be just throwing it back using the header, save that. And obviously I can press in here and press Command Shift D to duplicate that. And in fact, I can just click in here, hold down your Command key and click in here. Now we have two cursor and we can write header in here. That was quick. And just in here, uh, oops. And I can simply call in header, self-closing tag of course, don't forget that. And now the things are actually quite good. And notice our app.js is now getting cleaner and cleaner. And since we have time, I'll do one more for you and that will be footer. And that would be again super easy. And in fact, what we can do is, uh, in fact, we could have actually created one more folder and we could have uh, stored these components inside that, but uh, no worries at all. We can just do it in here as well. And let's just quickly do the footer as well, new file. And that would be footer.js. Again, that would be import, and I can actually copy paste. I can be a little bit lazy in here, copy, and we can go into the footer and paste that in here. That is good. Our com to react component, and we'll call that as footer. And again, I'll be using a short syntax in here, so I'll be simply saying export default there. And just go into app.js, look for the footer, click on in here, don't select just click on there, hold down shift key and click there, command X. I know some of you might be lost there because I'm moving a little bit fast, but again, you have an option to slow me down. Uh, there we go, we have got footer. Go into app.js, as soon as I save this, uh, notice our footer is gone. And I have to actually make sure that the order is good. I have to call in footer in here. And that would be footer. Obviously, it's going to complain as soon as I save because we have not imported the footer. And we can do it quickly. Command Shift D to duplicate. And I'll replicate my cursor. And I'll call the footer. Save that. And we're expecting to get a footer back. Notice our footer is back in here. Back in action. 
And the only thing that's remaining now is actually the container, which I believe you can easily just shrink it down. And now notice, uh, this is how almost our app.js is gonna look like. So everything is modular now. If you need this footer, almost exactly the same footer, you can just copy this file, or maybe you can just call it anywhere. And for a hundred page, you just have to call uh, this footer. If you want two footers, just for the demo purposes, you have to just call footer and there you go. Now your component is fully modular there. And notice now we have two footers there. You need two, you need two many bars or maybe a, a header area at any page. Notice it's just a matter of calling this component. So, so far, uh, now you might be understanding that how we are saving time with that. Now I'll give you a quick assignment to you as well. Now move this container into its separate component. That's good. Now I also want you to move this uh, division in here, which is post preview into its separate component. Now I want you to call do one thing is uh, when you create a new container in that container component, uh, inject this guy, this post preview. So basically what we'll be doing, we'll in the app.js, we'll be calling container component in the container dot js we'll be calling post preview dot js so this is kind of a linking of components so we are injecting into the injection so that's kind of a nice okay so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, so far we'll be leaving this project in here because we just wanted to clear up every basic on the component and by the far if you have been doing this along with me or you have done this somehow then i'm pretty sure you might be uh, facing tremendous amount of confidence in the component so that's it for this video and this is our very first component success that we have got and I'll catch you up in the next video.